The Honorable Philip J. Pierre led administration prioritizes the needs of St. Lucians first and always. The year of infrastructure will close the housing gap and make the dream of home ownership a reality for many St. Lucians. For the first time, the government of St. Lucia will commit revenue from the Citizenship by Investment Program, CIP, to build affordable homes for our citizens. Prime Minister Pierre made this historic announcement during his budget policy address on April 23, 2024. The decision to invest CIP revenue into housing developments for our citizens signifies the intention of the government to ensure ordinary St. Lucians have an opportunity to become home and property owners. Site preparation activities for the first CIP-funded housing development project has commenced. The Prime Minister has indicated that the community of Rock Hall Castries will be among the first locations earmarked for this transformational development. The 2024-2025 budget is crafted to enrich the lives of our citizens socially and economically. It includes vital housing solutions that will elevate the standard of living or the quality of life for low- and middle-income earners in St. Lucia. Under the Pierre-led administration, the National Housing Corporation, or NHC, will undertake its first housing development project in several years. The NHC has secured approval from the Development Control Authority, or the DCA, to build multifamily complexes with 15 two-bedroom apartments at Casaba Grosile. The National Insurance Property Development and Management Company, NIPRO, is currently in discussion with two developers to construct 100 affordable houses in Masque. Invest St. Lucia has commenced a land rationalization project in Denry North and Denry South, V4 North and V4 South. This project will transform many St. Lucian families living in government-owned lands from squatters to homeowners. The government, through Invest St. Lucia Limited, will ensure that these residents get the opportunity to purchase the lands they occupy at subsidized costs. The government is removing the financial barriers to home ownership for our hard-working public servants. The Prime Minister announced the government will utilize a new credit line facility valued at 20 million U.S. from the Exim Bank of the Republic of China on Taiwan. The St. Lucia Development Bank will administer the credit facility. It offers public servants 100% residential mortgages. Furthermore, the government will assist every successful applicant with a $1,000 payment toward their legal fees. These people-first policies outlined in the Prime Minister's 2024-2025 budget will empower our citizens and give them more accessible opportunities to build and own property and acquire equity to stimulate wealth creation in St. Lucia.